So the Suns have lost three games in a row, each of them probably worse than the one before. I know a lot of people are genuinely concerned about Bradley Beal, thinking that this injury is worse than they're letting on. Luckily for me, I've got a good friend who is at the game. You might remember him, Romp 2.0, or Sixers Talk with Romp himself. He had great seats, Sundo, and he sent me at least four videos that he personally shot of Bradley Beal making a lot of shots. Really the opposite of the video that was going around Twitter almost virally of him just stoinking jumpers off the backboard and off the side rim, looking like an old man, almost looking like Markel Fultz when he was going through his injury process. Just a completely broken jumper. Hit that like for us and tell us from what you're seeing in these videos, does it not look like Bradley Beal's on the way back? And guys, this video is brought to you by BetUS. Suns Valley Podcast Sportsbook the entire season. BetUS is a leading online betting platform. They offer a wide range of sports betting and casino games. So you don't just have to bet on basketball. You can do football, baseball, soccer, all that stuff. And you can stop by for some blackjack, Texas Hold'em, all that good stuff. You don't got to worry about security. They are reliable. They have excellent customer service. You can click our link in the description below to get 125% bonus on your next bet. And I know there's a lot of haters in our live stream last time. You wanted Frank Vogel fired. Well, guess what? On a bet for you, you can bet on exactly that. Frank Vogel, 16th best odds to get fired with a plus 4,000 money line. That means you can win a lot of money if you're right. So all you haters go ahead click that link in the description and go ahead and bet on it right now the grizzlies have not won a game all season so their coach taylor jenkins has the first best odds of getting fired so you could play that as well if you think that's going to happen and i think it's possible and if you've already used the link in the description no worries bet us has plenty of ongoing promotions welcome bonuses and loyalty rewards for existing players Thank you to BetUS for sponsoring this video. Let me just remind everybody of my prediction that I've said multiple times to you, live streams, videos, that I think Bradley Bill will be playing by November 10th. I think November 10th is the first game that we will see the big three. And these videos only confirm that for me. There's no way anybody with a terrible back looks like this, shooting threes smoothly, no issues, running across the court, catching the ball, shooting more threes, basically doing a bunch of ramp up drills. And so we can easily see him tomorrow. I would like to see him tomorrow. I don't think mm. we will, but we could. We could definitely see him Wednesday, but I think for sure we will see him November 10th, the first in-season tournament group play game for us against the Lakers. I think getting him back for Sunday's game would be so nice because we really need help at that point guard position, and he is supposed to be the lead point guard of this team. And that puts Jordan Goodwin in a better situation. I'm concerned about his wind. I don't know if his if his cardiovascular strength is going to be up to par to being able to play just yet. But we didn't think that Devin Booker was coming back from injury, and they trotted him out there. And let's be honest, after a three-game losing streak like this, we need a win tomorrow. We've got the Pistons Sunday, obviously, and you've dubbed it Monty Zuma's revenge game. <laughs> I certainly don't want to lose to the Pistons. And I don't think that we will, even if it's just Durant having to carry the load again. I think he can do that against the Pistons. I don't really want to find out, though, because I thought we were going to handily beat the Spurs twice. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. I at least want to see Booker on Sunday. If we could get Beal back, that'll be a bonus. I don't think it's going to happen. Once again, we'll see him on Wednesday or we'll see him on, on Friday. I think we have a better chance of seeing him on Wednesday just to get him some play and then ramp him up to the in-season tournament group play. I think I'll honestly just be happy if we get a chance to play him a couple of games before that Lakers game. I'd love for Beal to get a chance to ramp up before the Lakers game and not have that be a part of the ramp up. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that. But tell us what you guys think in the comments. When do you expect Bradley Beal back? And will the Suns beat Monty Zuma's Pistons Sunday? Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys soon.